Welcome back to another edition of Research Fantasy Presents, our MLB DFS Pitcher Picks for Monday, April, May. That's two videos in a row. May 1st, 2017. It's going to take me probably until June to get that right, but don't worry. We'll go through the same thing all over again there. For those of you who don't know me, I am Nick from CWE on all of your favorite daily fantasy sites. Thanks for joining us. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I really wish you would have uh, got into our NASCAR premium package. Not so much because it would have uh, greatly increased my monetary value, but because it was just incredibly solid this weekend. We had um, a lot of success, those who used it. I'm going to uh, put together a little bit of a free recap uh, I'll probably do I'm gonna do a video today or tomorrow for sure I'm probably gonna put together a uh, a page that had our recent form report and our driver by driver breakdown so everybody can see uh, what we you know what we had uh, called out for this race it was a fun one it was an interesting one it was a heartbreaking one I definitely had a top 10 lineup in all of the major tournaments that I was in until Clint Boyer took a dumb dumb penalty at the end of uh, one of the cautions as the race was winding down and uh, cost himself like 20 positions. So that pretty much, uh, there was like 70 laps yet. Anyway, this is a Major League Baseball video. This isn't a NASCAR video. Check back later for that. What we're here to do today is break down three pitchers that we re <coughs> really like interesting slate today I really like it a lot um I think you've got several different options you can really look into so uh there's something for everyone as they like to say and uh, let's start things off with Trevor Bauer of the Cleveland Indians tonight headed to Detroit to take on the Tigers 7900 on FanDuel Trevor Bauer is a guy who will absolutely give you a heart attack if you're playing because his range of outcomes are let's see how do you say this it's as bad as it could possibly be or as good as it could possibly be he really doesn't tend to have too many in-betweens um but the strikeout upside for him is really solid Detroit without Miguel Cabrera I think we all have to admit to an extent they're a less potent lineup, though Miggy might be back today. Um, but anyway, even at that, uh, he wasn't exactly uh, doing so well to start the season off. I do think the bat was coming around, but his, his, his uh, start to the season was very, very slow. Bauer, like I said, in tournaments, and that's what this video is, is focused on, Bauer is a guy with a high strikeout upside, so if he is able to shut the Tigers down, you're looking at uh, the potential of a very high score for not a very high price. He should be not the most popular. I, I would say I would put his popularity, popularity kind of at the moderate range. Um, I don't think that you have to worry too much there, but he's a solid pitching option today. Next up, let's go to Luis Severino. 8,500 of the New York Yankees at home, taking on the visiting Toronto Blue Jays. If I would have told you at the beginning of the year that on this slate that featured Clayton Kershaw and Johnny Cueto, that Luis Severino would have the best whip and very close to the best K over 9 rate, we would have probably all decided that I was crazy. I wouldn't have hesitated to agree with you. And yes, it's very early in the season, but we've really got to see some of why Severino was such a highly touted prospect coming up. This guy has been nothing short of incredible this year. Uh, and the Blue Jays, while they're starting to turn things around at the plate, are still a team that can strike out a lot, a team that can be shut down pretty easily, and I think that's what we should expect from Severino tonight. I think he's going to be an incredibly popular option, especially in tournaments, because he's got really high upside and he still hasn't been priced properly on at least DraftKings. So I think he's a guy that we want to have tonight.
But guys and gals, guess what? It's Monday. It's May 1st. I got it right this time. But more importantly than all that, it's Clayton Kershaw Day. And uh, Kershaw is the best pitcher in baseball. And you don't need me to tell you that. And I think that some people will look at the game that he pitched last time where he went seven innings, had only a strikeout an inning, uh, but got a win and a quality start, and just said, well, you know, guys like Lance Lynn at like 4K less than that have been putting together games uh, of 40 and 44 and 45. So why in the world am I going to pay 12-6 for Kershaw? And I, I have a pretty good explanation for that. He's the best pitcher in baseball. Uh, I get it. The Giants don't strike out a lot. We we understand that. They're a pretty patient team. But they're also not a great team right now. Uh, <clears throat> they're missing a lot of key components. And with this game shifting now back to... Um, Dodger Stadium, where he's less, he has not had an outing of uh, less than 50 fantasy points this year on FanDuel. Uh, he's also not had one of those masterful Kershaw games, so <coughs> we know that that's coming. But just in general, in your cash games, and I don't think Kershaw is anywhere near a must-play tournament um, because... If you put him in, let's just, let's just use, for example, if you put, you can do it on FanDuel because the pricing structure is a little weaker. If you put him in, let's say he and uh, Severino on DraftKings, um, you're basically looking at like 3500 left for, per player. Not to say you couldn't get it done, but you've got guys like Lance McCullers. You've got guys like... Uh, Trevor Bauer, Jason Vargas, even Julio Tehran, uh, even though he's not like a big strikeout guy, he's still a good enough pitcher that if he avoids a lot of the lefty bats, he could end up with a solid outing. So, I mean, in tournaments, you don't have to go this way, but in uh, you, you definitely want some exposure, I think, but in cash games, it's just easier for me to say, okay, let's not risk you know the farm. Let's just play Kershaw and move on. So once again, our top three tournament um, and apparently cash game pitchers for tonight: Trevor Bauer, Luis Severino, Clayton Kershaw. Thanks for joining. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Head over to ResearchFantasy.com. Sign up for our MLB mailing list. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Research and Win. And join us again tomorrow.